The reason I'm so passionate about entrepreneurship is that entrepreneurs truly change the world. Scientists come up with ideas, engineers build those ideas, but only entrepreneurs make them possible. When we support our entrepreneurs, we can create more innovations in the world. We can actually introduce more solutions to the world. I've built five different companies from zero to a half million dollars or a million dollars. Two of them actually took to a million dollars. I'm an early stage guy. Um, from the time that I actually worked at Next, early in my career, the teams that I was always involved with were that early team to get things off the ground when the technology maybe is still bleeding edge, not just leading edge, but perhaps bleeding edge. A lot of the skills that I've brought to the table are um, in, the, in the sales role, closing the first three sales, and in the technologies role, actually being able to build the team that gets the first version of the technology off the ground. I am not the long-term VP of engineering. I don't like to manage large engineering teams, and I'm not the VP of sales that's gonna manage a large sales team. But in those first early adopter sales, we have to figure out how to put the product together plus uh, the sales process together. That's typically what I've, I've done across my career. The Tech Ranch is a type of incubator. We're not the traditional type of incubator, and we're not the traditional notion of what an accelerator is. Our focus is to support the entrepreneur. I started the Tech Ranch mainly because I saw as an early stage entrepreneur here in Austin, it was actually fairly difficult to get a startup off the ground. We're a type of accelerator, a type of incubator for supporting early stage entrepreneurs. Typically we'll engage with them before anyone else in town will even think about uh, engaging with the entrepreneur and it's, and it's because of that focus on the entrepreneur that I believe we've been successful. I've lived in Boston, Chicago, Guadalajara, Mexico, the Bay Area, Phoenix, Dallas, Austin, San Antonio, and Santiago de Chile. The reason I came and keep on coming back to Austin during my career is because Austin has a unique character that I really enjoy. I think we have a certain style that makes it possible to launch startups more effectively than other places. I just love the lifestyle. And I've lived in the Bay Area, I've lived in Boston, I kind of have a true sense of what those places are like, but I keep on coming back to Austin because of our unique character and our lifestyle. I think we're gonna see more than just one entrepreneurial center of the earth. Right now, obviously, it's Silicon Valley. We also see Tel Aviv emerging. We see Beijing emerging. Because the world is getting more connected, places in the world that know how to work with other places in the world end up being much more effective. I think we're going to see the death of geographical distance because of the way the internet connects people. And because you and I are connected, the places in the world that have the lifestyle that support those kind of connections to other places in the world actually I think are going to be the places to live and the places to actually you know, hang your hat to, to do work from. That's why I'll be in Austin.